Hi everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater, and I'm back. I've done our Christmas celebration and and um, slowly tidying up my house and getting things back to normal. I'm tired. I'm very tired. I really pushed myself last week. I, although I only did a little bit every day, I um, I worked really hard, <laughs> and um, I'm tired this week. I'm still catching up and. I'm fighting a sinus infection and just all the wonderful things that happen in the winter. It's like minus 40 here with the wind chill. It's just crazy. And minus 40, in case you didn't know, is the same in Fahrenheit as it is in Celsius. It's darn cold. But anyway, I wanted to do this before Christmas. Um, Kath was so awesome. She sent this... Um, um, what's this called? Uh, da, 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 my mind's going blank. A setter. And it sets your Rivoli's into your, into your, um, cup buttons. But first I should see how big this is. Yeah, those are about 14, I think. I'm going to have to get one of those caliper things that Emma uses to tell how, how, um, oh man, my brain isn't working today. I have a bit of a headache, a sinus headache, and it's kind of affecting how I'm working. These are my favorites, my absolute favorites, but these are absolutely gorgeous too. But I think I'm going to start with the gold ones, and I'm just going to try one in here. I saw Robin from... Stuck in the City Homesteader, but not for long. She did a video um, using this, and it looked really easy. So I'm just going to try it and see how we go here. Oh, man, this is going to be hard for my hands, I think. Okay, let's see how we do here. Is that the right way? I think so. And then we squeeze. And it sets it in there. Cool. So guess what we're going to be doing for the next few minutes? We are going to set these in the gold. I'll move this out of the way. This is the angel that I got from Kath, too. I keep it on my desk here. But it keeps falling down, so I thought I'll just lie her down here. I had a really good Christmas. Um, I hope everyone had a good, good, good holiday. If nothing else, um, I'm glad it's over. I, you, there's so much build up to the day, and then the day comes, and I think we need to get back to simpler times. Oh my God, that's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Robin mentioned something about beading. Um, beating the metal in case her skin reacts to it. I have that issue too. So it would be interesting to see if she does that, what she does. Okay, fingers work. This looks like it's so easy, but I got my tongue sticking out just the right way. Oh my God. Look at how beautiful that is. And so easy. So easy. I think I'm going to do, I've been doing a bit of, um, I do a bit, uh, I'm making a, what's called an, um, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> it's a journal to put ideas in. Um, like if someone makes a pocket a certain way, you make that pocket and then you put a sample of it in that journal. So I've been working on that and I've been having a blast. I've been painting papers and sewing on papers and just doing things I don't normally do. Um, kind of funky looking. Just playing and it's been fun and I've been sewing a bit. I'm working on a baby blanket for my great niece, Emma. And um, 
cleaning off my beading desk. I haven't done any beading except um, downstairs. I've been working on the beaded, um, beaded tape measure covers for my friends. I've got five pretty much done. So I have one more to do for them and then I'm gonna do one more for myself. Look at that, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you, Kath. So quick and you have a bracelet. I'm, I don't go out much, so I'll wear this around the house. No, I won't. I'll save this for special when I go out. If I wear it around the house, I'll wreck it. I just need to grab a Kleenex. Just one minute. I should phone the doctor. And I know when I have a sinus infection, I get them about twice a year. Normally, I just phone her and I get medication right away, but this time I'm kind of holding out, thinking maybe maybe your body can beat it, Winona. But you kind of do suffer. Jeez, that's so beautiful. I hope you bought these for yourself too, Kath. And that you're making yourself some beautiful bracelets. Okay. Incredible. I'm going to hold it the other way now. So this is so easy. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have said that. This one bent the wrong way. Let's see if I can get it to bend over. My hands aren't working today. Hmm. Let's try that one again in here. Yeah, it just needs to bend a little bit more. That was probably more user error than anything. But I think it's good. I don't think it's going anywhere. Okay, make sure you get that in there right. Perfect. These crystals are so pretty. Okay. There we go. There we have a, oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just gorgeous. So I have this bracelet and I'll, I'll be able to make a necklace with it. Um, and then let's see here. And then I'll have one. And two to learn to bezel on. Which, if you want to learn how to bezel, I, I recommend checking out some of Robin's videos. Um, stuck in the City Homesteader, but not for long, or not for too long. I'll try to put a link to her, her channel um, in the description. Because she bezels and she leaves a lot of the Rivoli showing, which I like. It's, it just seems a shame like sometimes it's bezeled almost the whole thing and and um, 
you don't get to see that beautiful stone. I need to pull these up here more so you can see all of this. So there's that. These don't need to be here. The angel can go up here more. And then we've got the incredible, oh my goodness, aren't they pretty? Oh, so let's do, let's do one of these. You can go off to the side too. I talk to my tools. My husband, is dry, I'm driving him nuts. I, I talk to myself all the time or the dog or whoever and um, I was talking to the dog last night and he's like are you talking to me or what <laughs> or who are you talking to it's like the dog oh I love this it's like just a big juicy orange <laughs> so incredible It would have been beautiful in gold too, but it's going to be silver. This is the most incredible tool. Now I'll have to be on the lookout for these, but they must be coming back because I see um, like Potomac sent that. I'm gonna try to do that with this tool too. I think the hardest thing is getting them in here. There we go. So my granddaughter FaceTimed me yesterday and told me she's going to have a little sister. So I think she was actually more excited about the gifts she got on, from Santa for Christmas. But she did want a little sister because she wanted a sister so she could share her toys with her. So I said, you know, boys like Paw Patrol too. But she said, um, she, she has this little red panda stuffed animal that she's had since she was really tiny. And it's her comfort toy. And um, she says, but no Randy Cutie. Can't share Randy Cutie. I thought that was really cute. Okay. Oh, I'm loving this. <sighs> I'm loving this. We purchased um, my husband's aunt's china set. She is 102, I think, in the nursing home now. And we used to go there Boxing Day. We would go to her house and we would have Boxing Day supper. And she lived by herself. And she had an old wood stove that was converted to gas. And that's what she cooked on. And she made the most incredible meals. She decorated cakes and sold cakes for years. But I always remembered having that china. It was um, Royal Albert Petty Point. And um, Dave's cousin's kind of in charge of everything. And she contacted me in Feb or not February, in November and asked if I was still interested in the china. I said, are you kidding? I have loved that china. And I don't have china. I don't have, I think I have two place settings and that's it. So um, I think it was not Christmas Eve, the day before Dave went to Grenfell and picked it up. And oh, it was so wonderful. Usually I serve Christmas dinner. I get nice paper plates from Costco and I have charging plates, red, deep red, and um, that didn't sound good, but it went on it. Okay. Um, deep red and gold. And I put those underneath, but oh, it was so nice to serve everything in, on China. And she has all the serving dishes and a tea service and a coffee service. And it's just beautiful. So now I need another China cabinet because I have all the other kinds of stuff in my China cabinet. Or I have to find another home for all my other stuff. This is incredible.
Boy, you could mass produce these. Mind you, your hand would get sore, I bet. Just the repetitive motion. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, is that ever yummy? Oh, I love that. I love that color. So now I have, I can make earrings and a necklace out of those as well. Isn't that cool? Let's try. I think this is the one. What does this say? It has numbers on the side. Six millimeter. I don't think these are quite six, but I think it should work. Oopsie. So we'll put this here. Oh, I'm nervous. Well, these ones are harder to get in. Okay. I'll try this with this hand. Okay, I can't see that good. Did it get it in there? Oh, it's kind of slid to the side. You can see it kind of, but it's in there. Let's try another one. I think I need to get them in there better. Can you see there? That's good, but I should do this with my left hand, I guess, and not my right. And we need to get that right to the center. Yeah, that one did it, perfect. See how this one is kind of off to the side a bit? I don't know if I can fix that or not, but I don't know if it's going anywhere. And then we'll put this one. Oops, that noise scares me. Yep, that one went in really well too. Boy, I could give these as gifts. I, got all, I have so much stuff I wanna do. To sit properly. See? Come on. No, I didn't get it in there either. I wonder if you turn it upside down and do that. Nope. <laughs> You're just being stubborn, you little thing. Yeah, the hardest thing is getting them in there to sit. I think if they had sent gold with this red, wouldn't that be just regal looking? Okay, there, got it. We'll get it in the center, kind of, and then just squeeze. And there it went. Beautiful. Okay. And we'll 
get it in there again and squeeze and we got it oh this is working wonderful wonderfully not wonderful I find as I get older I keep forgetting to add the LY Maybe I'll, I have some book work to do. I have to apply for my pension or put my notification in, I guess, whatever. And then um, do some farm book work. And then I think I might work on some of my, I had laid out jewelry from the Dee Dee's surprise boxes that I got, or bags. And then it kind of got messed up when I was getting ready for the craft sale. But I think I might pull that out and make a necklace or two. And we'll see. I might do it on video. We'll see. I am going to be gone next week. I'm going to go up to Regina and stay with my mom for a few days. There we go. Oh, this is incredible. Can you imagine doing this without something like this? I wouldn't do it. it. Might be a project that I have that you do a little bit each day. Come on, get in there. I find the hardest part is getting them in. Kind of have to get them straight. Oh, I think I got that one. Yeah, it's looking good. So, so far, I just have one that I kind of have to see if I can fix a bit. Otherwise, they look pretty good. They're pretty incredible, Kath. Oh my goodness. If you're watching still, it's like um, <laughs> 23 minutes of a person that can't control her fingers. And I still have a lot to go. Oh, got it. Got it, got it, got it. So do any of you have New Year's resolutions? Or I, I don't tend to make New Year's resolutions, but I do tend to pick a word each year. And my word for 2022 is freedom. It's, um, I have had so many things that I've had to do for other people and I've finished all of those projects and, um, all those commitments. So it's freedom from that. It's the freedom to say no, um, when someone asks me to do something for them. I never felt comfortable saying that before, but um, through my journey and, and reading my devotionals, ah, that one's stuck in there, and just growing up, I guess, took me 58, oh, I'm not 58, I'm only 57. Um, I keep telling everyone I'm 58 this year for some reason, but um, it's freedom, and it's freedom from myself. It's freedom. I'm very um, obsessive, compulsive. Um, I don't 
like having a lot of different projects on the go at the same time. I, I feel the need once I start something, I should finish it. And it's freedom to say, you know what, I, I'm tired of this. Let's put it away for a while and we'll work on something new. It's the freedom not to have to start at the beginning all the time. Um, that's another thing I feel the need. I remember years ago, I was doing um, what's called a block of the month in quilting. And every month, rather than paying the full price of the quilt up front, every month they send you a block and you just pay for that block. And I was working on it and our basement, I, my sewing room used to be in the basement and it flooded that year we had, I forget what happened, but we had lots of rain and, and the basement flooded. And I couldn't find, I think I'd done the first three and I couldn't find the fourth block and I wouldn't go on to the fifth without doing the fourth. So everything got put away and I've never gotten back to it. I have found the block but um, it's all packed up. So it's freedom from that too. You know, like, move on, go to the next one. It's freedom from all my funny little things. It's freedom to, well, you know what? My friend's after me for this one because I, when I start a book, I finish a book. And she's like, well, if she doesn't like it, she doesn't read it. And I say, some of my favorite books I would have never read if I had stopped when I didn't like it. Like I'm a, I'm a, I like fantasy and Terry Brooks is one of my favorite authors. And I started reading his Magic Kingdom, Kingdom for Sale Sold years ago and I couldn't get into it. And I did put it down and then I got into, I picked it up another time and I was just so into it. And it, I have loved all of his books since. Well, you know, if I if I followed that old adage that if you don't like it, don't finish it, I would never have found that author. So I do struggle with that. I, I tend to think, you know, I can finish a book, but I have hundreds of books I wanna read. I have so many things I want to do. I'm going to have to live to be 783 years old to do everything I want to do. And possibly to use up all my supplies. <laughs> okay, look at that. 30 minutes in a half an hour. I We have got, thanks to Kath, we've got this incredible bracelet. Isn't that beautiful? And we'll have a pendant. I'll, I, I think I'm gonna use like gold chain on that. And a pair of earrings, like not, like gold, gold. And then we've got this beautiful bracelet that looks good enough to eat. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I just love that. And I've got two earrings and a pendant there as well. And I'll probably use aluminum necklace for that. And then we've got this from Potomac Beads, but it never would have gotten done if Kath hadn't bought me that incredible tool. So thank you again, Kath. I look forward to playing with all the treasures that you sent me in the next coming months and weeks and days. And um, yeah, I wish you all lots of luck and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.